Sarah Chambers, S-A-R-A-H. And what grade do you teach? Special Education, sixth and eighth grade. Will you be administering? Administer, will you be giving the test tomorrow? No, I will not be giving the test. Tomorrow. I just talked to a parent and was like, "Oh, they'll have to cave, and they have to." No, we are not going to cave. We made the decision for our children. We want to teach, not test, and we're going to stand up for what's right and advocate for our students. What is the biggest problem over the ISAT? Why do you feel so strongly against? The ISAT is not used for promotion, leveling of the school, anything. There are too many tests. It's not just the ISAT. The students are over-tested, they get anxiety, they cry, they get overwhelmed, and it does not measure their actual academic performance. So what else will they be doing then for the next several days? We'll be teaching them like we normally do, teaching them critical thinking skills and not teaching them to bubble in tests. Is the principal also on board? or No, she is not. So you guys will be given the packs of tests, but you guys just will not be giving them to the students? Nope. We will be teaching them, and the students that are opted out will go in another room, and we'll be teaching them like we normally do. The district says you guys could face consequences. Are you prepared for that? Before we took the vote, we knew what we were getting into. We knew there could be repercussions, and we're, we're prepared for that. We're doing what is right when we're fighting this injustice. Even though it's a state and federal law at this point to keep around. But 42 out of 50 states have gotten waivers from the federal government, No Child Left Behind. Illinois has already requested a waiver and could still grant it. And next year, the district's not even giving these tests out. No. The new test. This test is not being given, but this is an overall fight against over-testing and the unjust regime of over-testing. Okay. Thank Can you. Can I address the funding? Sure. Okay, so a lot of people are asking about the funding. We will not lose funding if less than 95% of the students take the test. All it means is that we will not make adequate yearly progress, which most schools have not made in many years, over 90%, and we have to be at 100% students meeting or passing to make it, which is statistically impossible. So we will not lose funding. All that happens is there's after school tutoring. So you're prepared for that? I'm prepared for that. You guys have been doing that already. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We are being told to test, test, test. What are teachers to do? They're not teaching anymore. We're teaching, people are teaching to the test. That's not teaching. Why should our children be put through that so other people can make money? I mean, who's paying for these tests? The taxpayers. Who's getting rich? The taxpayers? No. Everybody else that has interest. Two years ago when I was teaching fifth grade, some of my students were throwing up in the classroom because they were so nervous about it because there's so much pressure that is put under these children. Why should our children go through this? So why is there so much pressure from the board to give these tests? Is there like some special interests that are making money from it? Or of course. Is it it's all about money. Everything's about money. I mean, Who's, who, who's getting the benefit for all these, who's paying for all these tests? Who's getting that money? Why, it, don't we think some of our schools are falling apart? We need technology. We don't have technology here. We have to be begging. Most of the teachers, we buy our own materials. Why not use that money to bring into our children to better our children's education instead of wasting money and things that we are not going to be even utilizing. What is the purpose? Well, some people also say that it's almost like a race to the bottom that they're trying to justify the closing down of schools by reading all the way. You know, do you see that, that and having any role in it too? Just Absolutely. It's not so much closing the school. What is happening is that <laughs> they want to destroy the union. I mean, New York, New York, Teachers in New York cannot even, it's against the law for them to come and, uh, and, and strike. So we're going backwards? I mean, what happens to all the men and women that have fought in history for us to go backwards in time? It's not, it's not just a matter it's of teachers saying, oh, we're not going to, it's just like, no, we want to teach. What's easier? to just give them a piece of paper and sit there and watch the kids te test or to actually be teaching. That's what we're saying, let us teach.